at this point in time, I'm pretty sure that every single person who watches this channel knows what the UEVR mod is. It's the Unreal Engine Virtual Reality Injector mod, and it allows you to play flat screen Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 games in full VR. You also probably know that I absolutely adore this piece of software. It is an incredible feat in engineering, it's really intricate, and at the best of times, it can make a flat screen game feel like a native VR game with full motion controls, a decoupled pitch, 6 DOF, and a whole host of adjustable settings that you can tinker with to your liking. I absolutely adore the UEVR mod. Did you also know there is a UUVR mod, which is currently still in development, but that you can download right now and start testing. The UUVR mod is the Unity Universal Virtual Reality Injector, and this allows you to play Unity Engine games in VR. So we're getting to the point in this VR modding renaissance where we can play, or will be able to soon play, Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 5, and Unity games in VR. And it feels so damn good. Now, I'm taking this mod for a test drive today, and I'm playing Angerfoot. I absolutely love this game, and I'm so excited that I can play it in VR now, thanks to the UUVR injector. And before I get stuck in and start playing and kicking doors down, because this is a game all about kicking things as hard as you can with your big, extended, green, leggy foot. I don't know what I am. I'm a frog, I think. Some kind of frog person. Before I get into this and start playing it properly, let me just say this mod is in its infancy. I can't adjust things like I can in UEVR. We don't have motion controls. I am playing with a controller. We don't have things like decoupled pitch, so aiming on a controller is a little weird because I can do things like this, um, which is fine, but in UEVR with decoupled pitch, it can kind of lock you into a central point of view and then the, the, the looking around that you do is all done with your VR headset. In here, I can look around and also still move around with the controller, which does create some mad stuff. So I'm going to try not to look around too much when I'm moving, because things might get a bit crazy and I'll just use the controller. But what we do have is a fully rendered in 3D, perfect scale world that is running really smoothly in VR. And as I say, UUVR is still very much in its infancy. And the more work that goes into it, the more features that are added, the better it's going to get. And we're going to get something, hopefully at some point, that will feel very similar to UEVR. And, and then we'll be laughing. We'll be unstoppable because the amount of games we'll have to play in VR then will just double, triple. Who knows? There are so many cool indie, especially horror games, built in Unity that I would love to play in VR. So this this is great news. Can I kick these? Oh, I can kick that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Whoa! I love kicking stuff. Wait a minute. Hello. What came out of that bin just then? Oh, it's a fly! Kick it. Right, can I kick that man outside? Hello, mate. Oh, no! Shit! Oh, yes! Get him! <laughs> oh, I feel really bad, but I actually love it so much. Whoa! This game is superb, by the way. Uh, it's only just come out, but I've had the demo for ages. Uh, it used to be, I'm pretty sure, available on itch.io, itch and I've played the demo about a thousand times. It's basically Hotline Miami, but you can only kick. I think you do get guns. Do you get guns? I think you do get guns, but it's primarily just kicking stuff. Um, before I go in here and kick people, big shout out to the developer of this mod, whose name I and everyone always gets wrong. Rai Kupata. Nah, probably got it wrong again. Or Ray Kupata? Who knows? But they're a very talented individual and they work almost exclusively with Unity projects. They're always trying to get Unity games to work in VR. Right, let's go. I'm going to kick this door down and kill all the crocodiles. Ugh, take that, you shit. Ugh. Take that, you little bastard. Now, the soundtrack of this game is phenomenal. Again, very similar to Hotline Miami. Get out of here. Take that. Stop playing your brave music at me. Oh, I love it. Hello. Take that, you shit. 
Yeah! I love kicking the doors into the enemies. It's so good. And kicking enemies into enemies is also very satisfying. Who's in here? Wow! Hello! Bosh! 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 That's right, you're all dead. Uh, this game's very speed runnable as well. I think that's how it's been built. Oh, hello! He doesn't want me to kick him. Stop. Please don't kick me. You can have the sneakers. I'm going to take the sneakers and I'm going to kick you. I think that's only fair. Damn, this looks so good. Now, currently I'm running this on the highest graphical settings. Everything is maxed out. I've got like chromatic aberration switched on, bloom switched on, all of the fanciest features switched on. Now, the only thing that's a little bit strange is the lighting and shadows. They seem tied to my head. So if I move my head around, you can see the shadows and things moving um, when they probably shouldn't. I don't know if you'll see that on the footage, but the lighting is moving and the shadows are attached to my head. Now, if I get closer, it, it doesn't really matter as much. It, it doesn't make too much of a difference. I can still see kind of a shimmer moving around. It isn't perfect, for sure, but it's very bloody good. Considering this is a first pass um, that I've played with anyway. Can I not kick the ball? Thank you. It's very bloody good. Come here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love kicking the ball around. Ugh, take that. I don't like these flies. Why are there flies everywhere? Take that. They, they remind me of something, those flies. What was the weird flash thing about a fly? Mm, probably before everyone's time. I'm going to be thinking about that for the whole video. I'm going to figure it out. I love that that's how he gets into his own apartment. Like, every day, he just, like, kicks the door down. Hello? Why are you asleep on the job? That's right. Wake up. You're meant to be doing the bloody receptionist job or the security job, and you're doing a terrible job of that job. Hey, Angerfoot, what's in the box? Shoes! I've got some primo sneakers, mate. More sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't your collection big enough? Don't you dare speak to me in such an offensive way. <laughs> Hello? Take that! Oh, I shouldn't have kicked the dog. That felt mean. That felt unnecessary. I'm happy to kick the owner, but I don't want to kick the dog. All right, let's get into my house. Hey! Hello, my love. Welcome home. Thank you. Ready for movie night? I'm so ready for movie night. Picked out something special. Oh, what are you watching? Sausage King, volume 69, spread those buns. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know it was going to be that kind of movie night. Uh, let me just kick this popcorn away, though. Oh, I don't think I can kick my beloved. No, I can't. She, she is immune to the kicks. Impenetrable. All right, let's uh, see if we can. Whoa! Let's see if we can get another level going here. Uh, let's chuck these in the sneaker room. Lovely. Look at that. One spot left for the final pair of sneakers. Chuck them in. They are pretty nice looking sneakers, to be fair. Are you vaping? I think she's vaping. All four pairs of Primo sneakers. Your collection is complete. I'm so happy for you. She's thick. Hello? Oh, my lord! That's excessive. You've stolen a portion of the wall just to get four pairs of sneakers. That is mental. Right, I don't have 6 DOF. I, at least I don't right now because I can't move forward out of the wall. But it might be because it's a cutscene. Man, that looks so cool, though. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right, this is cool. Is this like the map selection, level selection? Whoa! Okay. Right, okay. So, menus and things don't seem to work correctly. Um, I, this, this seems like misaligned. Like, I can see a map, and if I move the left stick left and right, the level select is there, but I, I'm not really pointing anything. I think this is the level I'm supposed to do, so I'm just going to click it. So, menus are a little bit messy. I can see, like, my bum and the inside of my body. There's a misalignment. Things aren't perfect, but it is very good still. Here we go. Right, let's speed run the hell out of this level. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. We're going. Oh, I've got a gun now. There we go. It's gun time, baby. Take that, you little dickhead. Uh, uh, ooh, yeah. Draw. Kicking and shooting. Things are getting real now. Anyone? Nope. Anyone? Nope. Uh... Yeah, oh, he was pooping. He was pooping. He was doing a poop. And I've killed him. Hello, mate. Ah! No! Ah! Jesus! Throw! Oh, I missed it. Ah! Okay, that was insane. I threw the gun at him. And it felt like I missed, but I don't think I did. Oh, this 
game is so good. Flipping heck. Oh my god. It's so like intense as well. Oh, this gun's empty. I need to throw it. Throw it. Bosh. Kick him. New gun. I love that. You throw the gun when it's empty and then you get a new gun out of seemingly nowhere. Is that a bong? Oh, look at all them ciggies. Insane. Someone's got a, a problem. Someone's got a habit. Whoa. Level done. That's me. I don't think I am actually a frog. Just a green dude in a red balaclava. Okay, so certain things are kind of cut off. So that bit of kind of um, menu, I guess, the kind of end of level recap is cut off. I can see Contin and Ripla. Rip, Ripple. Um, so I'm not seeing all of that information. So there's probably stuff that can be done to bring the menus and overlays within your field of view, but right now they aren't, which is a shame. My mind is boggling now. I need to try some other Unity games. I wonder if there are currently any others that work as well as this. There has to be, right? There has to be. Now, oh, throw that. Now, right, Ray Kapata. Um, what is that there? New guns? Don't know. Um, oh, he's pooing and he's shooting me at the same time. Um, created the VR mods for some Unity games already. Games like Outer Wilds, um, Firewatch, ah! um, and many others that I'm clearly forgetting right now. Um, so he, he knows how to muck around with the Unity engine and how to get results out of it. So I wouldn't be surprised, take that, if uh, he could get this injector working really, really well. Given the time that he probably needs, he could do something very cool here that, you know, might not necessarily rival UEVR. But I could just keep exploring. Um, would still be an amazing addition to uh, the VR arsenal of all us VR heads. Honestly, I'm so hyped. This is. If we can get like. What the hell? I don't like this. I don't like the Skellington room. Um, if we can just get things like decoupled pitch working. That would be crazy, and if it can start working with quest controllers. Oh, there's a dog taking a wee. Um, if it can work with quest controllers as your inputs, and things like decoupled pitch, and getting these HUD elements and menus to be viewable, oh, it would be incredible. At that point, I'd be like, yeah, this, this, thing is, this thing is taking off. But I guess the difficulty is making something like this work universally, because this is one game, and there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Unity games, so that's the challenge of a universal injector. It's yeah, it's an incredibly taxing task. Um, and yeah, hats off to anyone who can do it. Where's your gun? Get your gun out. Oh my god, he's got no gun in this level. Oh no. Oh, I've got one now. Take that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Ah! I'm trying to hit the petrol thing. It's not working. Oh, I died. And now it blows up. Oh my god, that kind of exploded. Okay, I think I'm supposed to be able to blow up the petrol tanks. But, uh, doesn't seem to be working that way. Get out of here. Right. Ooh. Oh my god, there we go, okay. <laughs> oh my god. It just took a hot minute to uh, ignite. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, right. I will put a link in the description to download this mod and to get it running it's very simple to set up it's actually a mod loader that does all the work for you and scans your steam library or pc for potential unity games that could work it's very very impressive double doors oh take that that's cool you have to kick or kill a dude with a gun to get a new gun he's not just pulling a new gun out of his ass which i thought he was Oh, man. Die, die, die. Ugh. Lordy, lordy. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description to download this mod. You can kind of test it yourself. Oh, that was cool. Um, 
Come test it yourself. See what other Unity games you can find. I will be testing this on the channel as it develops and grows and gets better because I love this kind of stuff. It's phenomenal. Right, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed. This has been a first look for me anyway at the UUVR injector, the Unity Universal VR injector. I've also realized my player is T-posing the entire time. Why give him arms if if he's just T-posing all the time? Just don't give him arms. This whole game is about just having a leg, I guess. Well, the arms come into play when you get the guns, I guess. Interesting. But th if this was the UEVR injector, I could probably isolate those arms and make them invisible. So there's a lot of things and a lot of ways that the Unity Universal Injector could grow. And hopefully it will. Hello. Are you bad people? You look bad. Can I, can I talk to you? Hello. I love the character models in this game. These prices are daylight robbery. I'm all for extortion, but this is ridiculous. Luckily, I'm all for shoplifting too. Can I kick you? You are a policeman. <laughs> that felt good. Hello. Ah, yeah. Ah, yes. I can just kick everyone to death. Take that, you bunch of knobs. Yeah. And you. Ugh. I think there's probably a point in talking to these people, but I am not talking to anybody. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, he's got an Uzi. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, things are really heating up now. Oh, that is our bullets. Take that in the head. Oh, and you. Where's the door? There's the door. Bosh. Oh, okay, those Uzis. He's, he's like two stepping on me. What's he doing? That is amazing. I don't need to use the Uzi on the crocodile dudes. Might need to use it in here a little bit. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, the next room is the Uzi room, I think. Yep, one. Oh, two. Oh, scary. Very scary. Toilet, yep, fine. Oh, this is mental. Absolutely mental. Take that. Oh, <laughs> this is completely playable in VR, man. Like, it's not perfect, but it is completely playable. Oh, oh, oh no. Take that. Ah. Gun, gun, gun. Oh. I don't know how this is going to look on a recording. It feels absolutely insane in here. Right, I'm leaving it there. I'm dying a lot. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.